Good morning, everyone. I'm Anthony Yu. I'm here at the Global Founders Global Technology Summit in San Jose, California. And I'm standing next to Mark Wade, who's the chief scientist and co-founder of IR Labs. And both of us are extremely proud to be here in front of the demo featuring um, Global Foundry's 45 CLO GF photonics process in a product setting with an Intel FPGA. I'll have Mark describe that in a few minutes, but we're very proud of this achievement because it shows all the hard work over the, over the years through our partnership in actual application that will be eventually make itself into the data center. Mark? Yeah, thank you, Anthony. Um, as Anthony said, we're here showing a demo of our Terrify optical I.O. chiplets um, and the optical I.O. solutions that are possible with those chiplets. And we build those chiplets in the Global Foundry's 45 CLO photonics process, and it's enabled us to build uh, breakthrough multi terabit per second uh, optical connectivity solutions. So if we come and, and look at the demo, we'll first focus on some of, the, uh, some of the hardware here that's shown in these static samples. And what you'll see here are kind of a few generations of, 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 uh, of prototypes and, and, and uh, products that we've built. And kind of focusing in over in this area, you'll see uh, a package with multiple chips in it with the lid off. In the, uh, in the middle of that chip uh, is an Agile X FPGA. And uh, adjacent to it are two Global Foundry's 45 CLO uh, optical I.O. chiplets. And those are our Terrify optical I.O. chiplets. Um, what we're also showing in this demo is kind of a, a generational uh, um, uh, flow of, of fiber attached technology. Once you have optical I.O. chiplets in the package, it's also critical to figure out how you attach fiber. And so on, on the right side, we're showing some early prototypes. And uh, then it transitions as we go to the left uh, to where we're heading in production, where in the upper left here is a, a detachable uh, optical connector that brings uh, kind of almost a, a USB style optical connector straight to the package. Now, if we move to the middle here, where we've got two PCIe cards which uh, have the Intel FPGAs in them. And what this is showing is what it looks like when you go assemble the whole solution into a standard uh, card level form factor. In the middle here is the Agile X with uh, Terrify optical I.O. chiplets uh, packaged in there. At the back of the card is where we integrate the laser sources. So these laser sources are, uh, are external from the SOC package, and it sends laser light uh, into these optical chiplets through optical fiber routed uh, on the edge of the card. Now, uh, once, the optical, uh, once the laser comes into the optical chiplet, we do the electrical to optical conversion in that chiplet. So then coming out of the faceplate, uh, you have uh, high bandwidth optical transmit and receive. And so the demo here, if we go move over to the left, is we have two of these FPGA cards connected to each other optically and running live data back and forth. So right now we have uh, four terabits per second running live between these two cards. And this is being done at native bit error rates that are around 1E-14, 1E-15. And the reason that that's important is these kinds of bandwidth uh, and power consumption and latency numbers uh, derived from the bit error rates uh, are, are what's needed to insert optics into opt into computing fabrics, whereas traditionally optics has mostly been in uh, data center networking and ethernet networking solutions. So uh, going from four terabits to eight terabits to 16 terabits per second coming out of a faceplate in a very simple form factor is key to building these composable high bandwidth systems. Um, and once you're in the optical domain, this is all single mode fiber, so you can go uh, a meter between these two cards, or you could go a few kilometers. So it's really showing that we've broken the bandwidth distance trade-off uh, in a way that's never been done before uh, in these kinds of form factors. So, so this, as Mark said, this is built in our GF photonics process, which was qualified um, more than a year ago. It's a, it's a very unique platform, fully monolithic, which includes both the RF CMOS and the optical components on the same chip in a fully supported PDK and it's in 300 millimeters, so it allows very high precision um, immersion lithography and very good thickness control and advanced uh, materials processing. Um, the next step for us as we scale this into production is to work with the rest of the ecosystem, including packaging, assembly, and test, and bring forward the much promised, much needed era of co-package optics. Mm -hmm.